Britney Spears got slapped in Las Vegas. Let's talk about it. Yes, folks, this is not clickbait. She apparently, Britney Spears, the queen of pop, got slapped the house in Las Vegas by a athlete's security team. Let, you're not gonna believe this. So here's what I know about the situation, okay? Britney Spears was allegedly assaulted Wednesday night in Vegas after a member of NBA Wimbenyama's security backhanded her in the face and she has filed a police report. Okay, so here, here, here what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to laugh at victims being assaulted, so don't get it twisted. I'm just laughing at the fact that you really hit Britney Spears? Like, what person is gonna slap Britney Spears? Do you not understand the legacy? I mean, Britney Spears is American royalty, in my opinion. Now, here's what I think happened. There are more things coming to light today about the incident that happened with Britney Spears in Las Vegas at the Catch restaurant with this NBA player. Now we have an eyewitness who is recalling the whole thing and was exclusively interviewed by TMZ. Do you wanna know what they're rolling with right now? Let me, let me tell you. So the TMZ people interviewed Brian Grahalis. He said he was outside the restaurant Wednesday when he saw Britney approach Victor's entourage, clearly wanting to take a photo with him. The words that he chose to use, he said she infiltrated her way into his circle, was using a British accent and said, excuse me, sir, excuse me, sir. She then touched his back and then one of the security guards slapped her in the face. And they said she was screaming, this is effing America, this is effing America. And they continued to hold her there, not knowing that she was Britney Spears. Before I show you the clip of this guy, who's probably innocent as can be, and maybe, in my opinion, got a pretty penny for this, for this interview here. When I show you a clip of this video, pay close attention to the words that were chosen to be used, okay? Infiltrated, speaking in a British accent, making her way through. Nobody knew who she was. And remember, this is solely my opinion, but this is just the perfect excuse for why we will never, ever see Britney Spears in public again because this incident is gonna traumatize her to the point where she'll never go out as she hasn't even been going out anyway, okay? What a perfect, calculated, course of action to make sure the reason why we're not seeing Britney on public even more now or even for an extended amount of time is now because of this incident. And if you don't think that something is weird or funny at this point after months and months, then y'all go back and hide under your covers because this this right here can you can see with your own eyes, your own naked eyes that this is fucking planned. Britney sort of in infiltrated her way into this circle, this circle, and started to put her hand on his uh, back shoulder or his back, because he's pretty tall, so towards his back. And then that's when uh, the bodyguard just turned around, uh, slapped her across the face, and knocked off her sunglasses. Did you see his hand make contact with her face? Yeah, you, you saw the hand, but uh, you also heard the slap. It Walked her out of the restaurant. She screamed and using a British accent. That's what she was using the whole time. This is fucking America. And she was saying that in an angry, like angry that she had been. Yes, it was an angry tone. Because this is the rumors. I heard that Britney Spears tapped the athlete on the shoulder and the security ran up and. <laughs> now, let's just be, she was not dressed. She was not dressed as the Britney Spears that we know today. That's my choreography girl. If you know, if you guys know, hold on. I wanna know, I wanna know how big of a fan you are for Britney Spears. What choreography is this from? What music video choreography is that from? From Britney Spears. Put in the comments down below. And if you're extra bonus points, if you know the choreography for that one. 
and this one, okay? How much you know what I'm saying? That one? You know what I'm saying? I'm giving away, I'm giving away the clues. Anyways, that was, th I mean, let me say, I know the choreography girl. Follow me on TikTok, I might do my British British choreography. So, cause I'm on TikTok, Rich Lock 713, okay. Follow me on Threads too, if you have it, okay. Oh, y you know who put out a statement about Britney Spears allegedly getting hit by an NBA player's bodyguard? Oh, none other than Sam Asghar. He had to post this to his Instagram stories. Here it is, in all its glory. Notice he never says Britney, he says, my wife. I'm opposed to violence in any form, especially without justification in the defense of yourself or someone else who is unable to defend themselves. Self-defense can be unavoidable, but the defense of any woman, especially my wife, is not debatable. I consider my reaction subdued considering what occurred, and I hope the man in question learns a lesson and changes his disregard for women. Thank you for the support. Oh, but wait, there's, there's another one. He posted something else. The violent behavior of an out-of-control security guard should not cast a shadow on the accomplishment of a great young man on the rise at Wemby. Ah, Sam was sure to tag the NBA star, wasn't he? The blame should fall on the coward who did this. The people who hired him without proper vetting and a systemic culture of disregard for women within sports and entertainment. I can't imagine a scenario when, where an unarmed female fan showing any kind of excitement or appreciation for a celebrity would cause her to be physically assaulted, much less being hit in the face for tapping someone on the shoulder. The changes needed will have to come from the top, and I look forward to those changes. I just want to tell you that um, Victor, the NBA player, he's seven foot, three and a half inches tall without shoes. And with shoes, he's like seven and a half feet. So he's almost eight feet long. So for Brittany, at five foot four, even wearing the heels she was wearing, this mother effer was two feet taller than her. Oh, almost, almost three feet fucking taller than her. So for her to tap this ginormous tall man on his shoulder seems quite impossible. The random security guard is going to get all the flack for this that happened. Possibly, in my opinion, because he was probably told or, or coaxed to do so. He's going to lose his job. The basketball player is going to rise up because he's not the one who allegedly hurt Britney or the Britney body double. <laughs> and Sam had a, had a response ready to go. Okay? Ready to go. I didn't even see him in those two shitty-ass video screenshots. Um... In, unless it's supposed to be him right here, right right there. Is that supposed to be him and that blurb's supposed to be Britney? So Mr. Big Muscly Guy Sam didn't do diddly squat but stand there while reports say that even after the, the slap happened on Britney's face, they still continue to subdue her and hold her back because they didn't know who she was. If you don't know who Britney Spears is after all this time, nah, 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 something, something's going on. F this. F this. Girl, I'm just be honest with you, girl. You know, I go to Vegas, what, six, seven times a year. And, you know, some day, there are some days that I'm not giving you the glamour rich licks. You know, I'm not walking around like this, honey. I'm wearing flip flops, shorts, t shirt, cooling. You know, just a normal day. You know, it's like very relaxed. I just want to enjoy the sights and seas and stuff like that, you know. Go put a little hurt on in the little slot machine, girl. See if we get lucky, right? Well, I think that Britney Spears was just being a normal person in her little flip flops and her, her little out, you know, pedestrian looking outfit and shorts and the shirt. And I think that they, they didn't know who it was. They probably thought it was a bum. Hey, get, get out that, get, get that bum away from him. It's Britney Spears. That's what I'm saying. You know, you know how they always say, you never know who you're talking to. You never know who that person is. Because it could be Britney Spears. It could be Britney Spears walking around looking like a bum. It could be. You just never know who it is. You know, we oftentimes we see all these celebrities like Oprah and Britney. And we see them so glammed up on the red carpet. But they have normal days too where they're not in their fajas. Where they're not in their skims. And they're not in their shapewear. And they're just, you know, just being regular in a, in a t-shirt and shorts and flip-flops. And their, and their hair in a bun. And, and big old glasses. You don't know who it is. Is. So anyways, I just I just want to preface never know who it is But let me let me show you some of the article that I have here The incident went down at catch restaurant in the Aria Hotel around 8 30 p.m Brittany along with her husband Sam Asgari and two others went to the restaurant for dinner She was swarmed by fans as she entered the 
casino. Oh, you know, oh, don't even give me a start. Her husband, Sam Asgari. Oh, in my opinion, the most clout chasing husband on the planet had something to say. And then she, I believe Britney Spears screamed, this is effing America. It's America for you! Fuck you all! Wow. You do not hit Britney Spears, girl. And you know what? I think that she could, you know, I have a lot to say about the, the Britney Spears in Las Vegas. First of all, we thought she was missing. Okay, let's just say we thought that Britney Spears was missing. But no, she's in Las Vegas going to the Catch restaurant in the Aria. Which is a pretty nice restaurant. But like, mm, I don't understand why she wasn't with her all her team and secure, like a lot of security and stuff like that. And who's to say that she really wasn't? But I want to say this. Britney Spears just tends to do things when she wants, how she wants. And I think that even if she had a whole bunch of security and assistance around her, there, there's no controlling her. Because you're talking about a woman who has been controlled her whole entire life, and she just does not want to be controlled. She does, she's, not a, she's not a girl, not yet a woman. She just wants to be her. And Sam Asghari cannot protect Britney Spears because she has been protected her entire life. Britney just wants to be her. I don't even think there's even a, an apology at this point because, you know. All I needed was less than 10 minutes to find a connection. Now, whether this connection is true or not, that's debatable. Last night, Britney Spears allegedly got hit in the face by Victor Wimbanyama's bodyguard. He's an upcoming NBA player for the Spurs. And a lot of people are saying, you know what? Somehow, some way, it's connected, right? Well, look at this. Forgive me if I pronounce the names wrong. I apologize. Win Banyama is represented by agent Buna Ndai of Comsport. His family has a long time relationship with Ndai. Here's his Instagram and guess who follows him? Go to who's following and type in Lou Taylor. I rest my effing case this is all allegedly by the way just just saying it's always funny how it's all connected he doesn't follow her but she follows him even though she did tap him on the shoulder she got slapped she could sue if she wanted to she could sue you know you could sue people for anything nowadays no matter what i think about the situation let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye i love you so much